So I wanted to showcase the rotting beholder now. I'm doing this on a mud rev board and if you look at the area getting to them it's really confusing. So rotting beholder is part of the fifth quest. If you look at where he is it's a monstrous den. There's no real obvious way to get here. So you have to kind of look for a guide for what leads to this room. Um, I have a fifth, fifth neutral quest guide here and here's a step that we're getting to. So you get to the old hermit, you go north until you hit a mage statue. There are some direction, there's rooms in every direction. So you just kind of have to keep going until you see the statue. And then you keep going three rooms north until you hit a, see a hidden down. You don't see it, you just press down and it lets you down. And then you follow these exactly. And then as soon as you go southwest, it, um, uh, it finds it. So if I were to replicate this on Mud Explorer, if I go to first the old hermit, where he is, I'm going to just go north. And here you need the Jagged Bone key, which you get from the old hermit. Just uh, really quickly here, let's show that. Um, right here. So if you give him the the item that you need, it gives you a jagged bone key. Okay, so again, going back to where he is. So I'm going until I see a, I'm going to just go north here, until I see a placed mage statue. There it is, so that was about eight or so north. Then we go three more, so one, two, three. We can see there's a hidden but passable exit down. I think if you're in this room, it says no exits. But I will go down. And then what this says from here, <clears throat> north, 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 east, north, 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 east, north, north. And then from here, you can see going southwest to the rotten beholder. Okay, so that's, that's how we did it, getting to the rotting beholder. This champ, uh, 3,300 health, not too much. Not Doesn't do too much damage. The fear is uh, can be a problem, but I think, um, you know, since there's no exits, I don't think it'll try to move if you're feared, which is good. Uh, let's see, and that's only 20% chance. The other ones are no big deal. The damage most he can do is 400 times three. Yikes, 1,200, 9% chance of that, but unlikely. So when I fought this guy, I had 12 level 50 plus. I'll just show you the cap of that really quickly. So here I'm going north, north, east, north, north. And I didn't realize I'd be getting there so quickly. Otherwise, I would have did this live. Went southwest, got the running beholder. Okay, so two backstabs missed. Decent round from the archer. Good round from the... Maestro, got three crits. Wizards doing work as usual. Although that's quite a bit of magic resist, I think. How much magic resist does he have? 150, okay, wow, yeah. Um, Comet Swarm, yeah, all those got messed up. S Samurai did some pretty good damage there. Four crits in one round. So at the fair end of the first round is very quickly when it almost finished him 3,300 hit points in one round and then just finished him off short after. And what does he drop? He drops a rotten eye, which, what does it do? Let's see. Gives you some illumination and a hundred round ability, but confusion 30 is not worth it. And a rotted tongue. It's used for Island of Bones, maybe later in this quest. And the Bloodwood Chest, of course, um, one of the good ones. This is this is a Mud Rev weapon, which is really good. Interesting. Only one Rotomite. Yeah, so really good weapons and items as a result of this. But he's kind of a hard guy to get to. You have to do some prerequisites. And, um, you know... He, any decent party could take him out, but again, it takes a while to get there. So that's the Rotting Beholder. 
and part of the fifth alignment quest. Thanks for watching.